Hello everybody, my name is Rugi and this is All Pretty Review. So we have enough of two videos about the big three, but before moving on to the current big three, I want to address another group of six star operators which I dub as the blues. Maybe they have other names like the forgotten ones, the weakest link, but the blues will do the least emotional damage. Well, we do have several 6 operators whose performance were a little bit less satisfied than intended. For example, Siege cannot generate extra 3p through her CO3, unlike the other two. Sounds odd, right? I know this video will be controversial, but the blues exit since around 1st or 2nd anniversary? I don't remember. But unlike the big 3, the members will not be replaced but will be added. Instead. So, for today's video, it's all about which operator. Oh no. Which. Okay, never mind. Which do not live up to expectations, and how are they now? First, we have Chen. No, I'm not talking about this Chen the whole long day, but they will be set for another video. It's just Chen. Chen was really powerful back around the first anniversary before replaced by Thorns, Mountain, and even Irene. I already covered Tons and Mountain in the previous video, but how about Irene? Irene's judgement works kind of similar like Chain's third skills, which is the Chisa Shadowless. But some say judgement ends up better because of the slightly lower SP. I don't know, but after all, Chain is used to be the boss layer by me. And let's look at her module. Yeah, I didn't unlock yet. Okay. Her module just improved her skills, but frankly, just a little. Is she still good today? Let's just say she's being overshadowed by new operator today. And speaking of being overshadowed, Scuddy is yet another victim. While she is initially strong when released, it seems like her skills are pretty uh, boring. I had a video about Scuddy, so let's summarize it real quick here. Scuddy's skills are pretty simple and direct, no fancy mechanics, no stuns, no crowd controls, just... Yeah, attack buffs. Her second skill is pretty much a simpler version of New Alters. And uh, let's make a quick review about Scuddy's module. Alright, one offers survivability, uh, this one. And another offers, yes again, attack buffs. Yeah, the module is, um, let's say boring as app, I'm dead serious. I'd rather get Scuddy the Karting Heart and let her support the team morally. We have another ingredient into the list and this time is Misky. Yes, just like Scuddy, he is really strong, pretty OP in the story, but gameplay says otherwise. Look at the data. Most doctors eat 2 Misky just to entry his first skill. Well, they have alternate options such as Aethan, Manticor, or Kirara. These ambushes are on par with Misky as all ambushes have the DPS tag. Biscuit is particularly useful in RNC base, especially when you place Biscuit with operators we have the same base skill like Vanilla and Robota. Biscuit modules do provide an extra upgrade for his uh, overall stats, but just a little. Yeah, like almost no one unlocks the same module according to the same server because the only change is 65% physical and us evasion is the 50. Yeah, just 15% risk. Oh, I forgot. Um, the second body will be released along with the other, so sorry of spoilers. Speaking of spoilers, I'll just add Vigil in the list. Being introduced alongside Texas Outer and Penance, Vigil is a welfare operator. But unlike Gladia and Lumen, which are also 6-star welfare ops, Vigil is overshadowed by even several 4-star operators from Meter, the Standard Mirror, to even Stop, who is also a tactician. As we all know, Wenguan is a class where the lower the DB cost on the operator is better, but depending on the effectiveness of their DB recovery. As if Siege is less effective enough because of skill 2, especially skill 3, which does not provide DP recovery at all. Biju has the highest cost among all Wenguans at port 1. Well, you see, uh, this one is port uh, full port 14, so port 1, Biju with 17. So it sounds like a DB cost of mid stage operator. And the Teddy module is straight yet to be released, so I cannot comment much, but the truth is, Vigil is promoted to E2 just because of his RSCB skills. Yeah, he's really effective in training stations. 
will be drawn to the final member of the blues, the queen of the blues, Mostima. My first how to play Aries 6 star operator broke Mostima means heart, but this is a heartbreaking troop. Yes, Mostima is extremely powerful because of uh, skill 2, shadow time, I mean lot of legend time, and skill 3, key of uh, Skill 2 is in promotion of Gitano second, and the third skill is like arch damage ratio of true silver slash or minus third skill, with a little bit of pushing power and slowing energy as well. But there are some undeniable effects. First, she has the highest DP cost at part 1 until Mark Rock takes over, which is uh, 36. Second, her DPS even does to over her as the better slash hunter. And third, her skill sets are kind of repetitive. Her current only module, however, you see right here, is um how to say, is aware how drastically improve her DB cost. But did that module alone improve most people's appearance rate across difficult stages? I could say, perhaps. I know there are several dishonorable mentions like Unitus and Siege, but I'll just keep that because, uh, well. I just want to skip it. However, I do have some honorable mentions for the next GMP3. Want to find out who's the next GMP3? Stay tuned for my next video and peace out.